Welcome tankers! I thought I'd try something slightly different in this video and talk about the matchmaking system in Armored Warfare. And like everyone else, I was really excited to see that Armored Warfare was going with a skill-based matchmaking system. That means that you don't get all experts on one team and all noobs on the other. The matchmaker tries to make even teams. And in World of Tanks, it gets really old being consistently placed on terrible teams. Uh, one team gets steamrolled, then the next team steamrolls, and it gets old very fast. So you would think that skill-based matchmaking would improve and fix all these problems, but oh boy was everyone wrong. We blew this one, because skill-based matchmaking is absolutely terrible, and no one would have guessed. So let's look at why that is. Now imagine you're a noob, a complete beginner, and you know nothing about the game. In your very first game, the matchmaker is going to match you up with, well, there will likely be a ton of other new players in the queue, so you'll get matched up with, with a beginner as well, probably someone who's slightly better than you since you're brand new, but not much better. So you'll lose, if we ignore ties, you'll lose just a bit more than 50% and you'll win just a bit less, So, you, but you'll be roughly close to 50% wins. But that all changes if you're a good player. And it gets much worse if you play outside of a platoon. So imagine you're a Unicum, and Unicums only make up 5 or 10% of the population. So if you're a Unicum, you're likely to be matched against a platoon of Unicums. So now all of a sudden there are three good players on one team and one on your team. And there, the odds that there are going to be two more Unicums in the queue are quite small. So quite often you're going to get put on a team that has no hope. And as you get better, you would think you'd win more and more. But the exact opposite is going to happen. As you, you get better at the game, you're going to lose more and more. And you'll end up only winning about 46% of your battles. Yes, yes, the best players are, are going to lose a lot more than they're going to win because they're going to be consistently placed on terrible teams and they'll have no choice but to play in platoons because platoons are going to be ridiculously overpowered because three tanks working together can kill anyone they face before he has a time to take any more than one shot. So with platoons being overpowered and skill-based matchmaking, the best players are going to lose way more than they win, and they are, every game is going to be on a terrible team. Whereas in World of Tanks, you got maybe a quarter of the games were on a terrible team, a quarter of the games were on a good team, and the rest were in between. But in with skill-based matchmaking, if you're a really good player, every single battle you're going to be placed on a team of noobs. And this is going to lead to an insane amount of bitching in chat. Because, well, the best players aren't going to win, and they're, everyone they're playing with is going to be terrible. So who would have thought that skill-based matchmaking would be way worse than random matchmaking? Never would have guessed, and I don't know what they can do to fix it. Perhaps segregating newer players from intermediate and advanced players, perhaps, and then installing skill-based matchmaking. Who knows, but right now the system is terrible and I never would have guessed it.